financials, I would say, as for a male, uh, they're not as much because semen preservation, as I told you, is very, very simple. And it may just cost about five to 10,000 rupees uh, for, you know, um, a sample preservation. But maintenance of the samples, may, the cost may change from clinic to clinic. And that is something which uh, is important. Uh, for uh, especially for female uh, fertility preservation, again, the costs are going to be different, whether it's only oocyte preservation, whether it's an embryo preservation, whether it's uh, ovarian tissue preservation, which will require surgery, plus, you know, special treatment of the tissue, which is there, and then preservation, plus, don't forget, as I'm saying, insurance. I think that is very, very important because you cannot tomorrow say, plus safety, Safety is another very important question. Like, you know, how, how is this tissue going to really perform and will it really bring about the problem again? Uh, so all these, the costs will vary according to uh, what we are doing at in what circumstances. Uh, dual, uh, like we do dual stimulation uh, for uh, women who have shorter time uh, in between the surgeries, like from uh, she's been operated for breast cancer and there is still time for chemotherapy to start in between time is utilized for you know preserving as much number of eggs as possible so costs depend on that but i still feel that it's not as much because tomorrow we are enabling them to have a baby of their own and that is what matters because what is one cycle of ivf costing anywhere i mean it's Simply that we, we are just taking the eggs out or the tissue out and preserving may, maybe a lakh and a half to three lakh of rupees. Now, maintenance, as I said, in my clinic, I can tell you that for two years maintenance, we charge 25,000 rupees for two years. So people can renew it year after every two years. So it's not as much.